think about it. James Hooker. I want to think about it, Claude. You know, James, you're not allowed to think about it. What the hell you mean? I don't have. <laughs> 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 you know, James. You know, when normally I think you're more worried about my feelings than your own. Normally, when people say to me they want to think about it, they're being so polite and courteous to me that, but they really mean to say no. Isn't that isn't that what we're doing right? And, it, and listen, I'm here to help. You came to me with those three to six problems. And I, if you don't believe I can help you solve these problems, why don't we just say it's over at this point? What do you think? Well, Claude, I don't know you from Adam. We just, this is our first time you know, talking. You know, my wife why, says the same thing on our honeymoon. <laughs> why should I trust you, Claude? Maybe you shouldn't. Okay. Do I have his attention well, right now? Is he a little off balance right now, by yeah. the way? He's never heard anyone say, you're not allowed to think about it, and maybe you shouldn't work with me. He, he's not hearing the same old SOS, right? <laughs> right. And why am I doing this, James? To be confrontational? To be, what, why am I acting this way? Is there a reason for it? Well, using the guest method, you're not groveling. Um, you there to help them. To make money and um, um, exactly that's not the standard response they, they don't hear that and, At all. and this is why we do the agenda in the beginning remember that agenda step the three step agenda qualification commitment close slash close right. in the agenda we say hey mr. hooker I'm very interested in doing business with you today can I ask you a couple two couple of quick questions you ask me a few if we can do business great if not um, you don't have to say you'll think about it. You can just say, Claude, you're fired, okay? Okay. I'm sorry? Is that okay with you, sir? Yes, it is, Claude. Okay, good. I, sometimes I reiterate it. I say, what? You know, I make him repeat it so he doesn't forget it. So then in the end, when he does say, I'll think about it or something like that, I say, hey, you remember that little, we made a little verbal contract in the beginning there, a little agreement there. And so I'll take it away from them. But that's why in the next step, the qualification step, that's why we have to get those three to six emotional needs and grieves. So I can keep repeating those things. Hey, Mr. Hooker, before we go, what are you going to do about all that problem? You said you, you said you need to sell the house. You're behind two payments. You're moving to a new part of the country far away. You've got a new job here. You don't like to, you don't want to rent the house. What are you going to do about all those problems when you move July 1st? That, that's, isn't that one of the reasons we spoke today? It is, Claude. I'm feeling overwhelmed, and I don't know what to do. I can imagine I'd, I'd be, you know what, if I was in your position, I'd feel the same way. Tell me what you need from me so we can, I'd like to do business with you, but I understand your reluctance. What could you use from me so that you feel more comfortable? Would you like to talk to my wife and kids or something? <laughs> I say you know, shit like uh, this. Do you, <laughs> have, Claude, do, you any, do you have any references, Claude? I, oh, thank you for asking. I love, you're a smart young man. Thank God. I really stroke. I love when people ask me those kind of questions. How many references would you like today, Mr. Hooker? Four. Four. Why don't I, how about five or six? That's even better, Claude. I'll, I'll send those to you as soon as I get off the phone. And if you call them up today and they meet with your expectations, about how I do business. What happens when we speak at 4.30 this afternoon? You hear that silence, by the way? You hear that silence? I love it. I love it. What does that mean when it's silent like that? What does that mean? He's thinking. Thinking. He's thinking. thinking. He's off balance. He go, oh shit, I didn't know he'd say that. <laughs> yeah. You ch you changing, you just made me think, wow, this guy is serious. This guy is serious. And I've kind of, I've actually, see, when they bring up a stall or an objection, you have to be prepared to how you're going to answer that. And if you do it the right way, guess who painted themselves in a corner? Do you ever hear that expression? Yeah. You know, you painted yourself in a corner and you got all this wet paint. You're, you're trapped. I've got you now in a place. You're the one who brought up the ob objection. Oh, I need references. I don't know. Oh, you know, good for you. Stroke, nurture. I suppose I could give you those references, and they meet with your expectation. How would you feel about that? What happens when we speak at time-specific, 4.30?
Okay, he's, he's getting trapped now. Now, if he starts backpedaling and saying, well, I don't know, I got to do this and that, I mean, you know you're not going to, you're not going to close right. that person because he keep, keeps coming up with new, new objections and things. So you know where you stand on a one through 10, you know this guy's a four or five. You're not going to close him today. But you know that. Isn't it great to be a mind reader when you're selling? Isn't it great? A absolutely. Um, let's go to the next. Let's go to the um, let's go to a uh, next uh, next one here. Um, someone have a question? I oh, do, uh, Chris, I forgot you. 